So on the second round of PCT permits, I was able to get the day I wanted. I've got the plane ticket, I've got my California fire permit, and I just sent off to get my Canadian entry permit. So I figured I might as well do some videos, and this is the big three. This year I'm gonna be going with the ULA circuit. The arc haul that I had from z -Pax has got over 2,800 miles on it, and it was time to be retired. I tried out carrying the bear canister in the arc hall and just didn't quite like the way that feels, so I figured I'd try a circuit. And my hiking partner on the AT carried a ULA and absolutely loved it. And from all the reviews, the circuit's one of the most popular packs on the trail. Figured I'd give it a shot, did a little overnighter with it, and absolutely loved it. Felt great on me and everything fits in just fine. Done a few little modifications to it. Uh, I took out the hydration sleeve, but I left in a little pouch sleeve, and I'm just gonna carry my permits and a Ziploc in there. Threw in a Gossamer gear pack liner. <clears throat> I've got a Justin's water bottle holder on there, and I'll carry one liter of water, and the Z-Packs strap pouch. I took the ULA uh, water bottle holders and I've repurposed them to attach my umbrella to. So when I'm in the desert, I'll have the umbrella and I can just put it on the pack there so I can be hands free. Also, I love the big pockets on the ULA and my phone and everything else fits in there, but the poles, not so much. So I just added a little bit of uh, uh, zing it and made the poles a little easier to grab and to see. For my sleep system, I've got my tried and true hammock gear burrow 20 degree. I'm a relatively warm sleeper, so the 20 degrees always suited me fine, even when it's gotten down into the teens. I always uh, also use the Dutch gear quilt liner. It adds a little bit of warmth, but it also keeps the quilt clean. And on really warm nights, I can sleep with just the quilt liner. Now, normally I'll just shove that down in the bottom of my pack, but in the Sierras with the river crossings, I'm a little bit of paranoid. So I picked up a Gossamer Gear uh, dry sack that is the event. So I'll shove it in there and make sure my sleeping bag is dry in case I go into a river. Now for my sleep pad, I've got the Thermarest New Air Uber. I picked that up a while ago and I used it all of last year. It had a slow leak in it, so I brought it back to REI and got it replaced. Slept on it a few nights and it's been pretty good. And the weight on this is like stupidly light. And I'm gonna be pairing that with the Gossamer Gear Thin Sleep Pad. Uh, this will just be to protect from things poking up from the bottom of the tent that might puncture the air mattress, when you combine the sleep pad and the air mattress, the weight is still less than the regular Neo Air. So figure I'll be good there. And I have the Thermarest pump sack so I can blow it up. For tents, I am a hammocker. So I am now trying out tents. Spent a few nights in each of these and everything's been fine. I've got the Big Agnes Tiger Wall 2. I'm gonna be starting off with that. And the reason why I'm starting off with that is the freestanding tent in the desert. I can leave the rain fly off and stargaze. Then I'll swap that out at some point before the Sierras or at least at the Sierras for the Z-Pack Duplex. And the weight savings of the duplex will be really helpful when I have to add the bear canister and all the extra weight to get through the Sierras. So that is going to be my big three. And I'll be back in a bit with everything else. Okay, now we've got the clothes. Now for a hiking shirt, I'm still unsure of which I'm gonna go with. I have the Columbia PFG shirt and I work at L.L. Bean and we just got this brand new fishing hoodie, which is extremely lightweight. It's got all the sun protection, it's antimicrobial. So I might start off with the hoodie. For shorts, I've just got a pair of Adidas running shorts, L.L. Bean trucker hat, a pair of buff 
fingerless gloves, which are sun protection for the desert, ultra lone peak 4.5s, and inside of those are the Superfeet Trailblazer inserts, ex officio mesh bikinis, and gingy toe liners, and darn tough socks. I've got a buff and also some dirty girl gaiters. Now to sleep in and what I'll be carrying, I've got my possum down gloves and socks from Z Packs, which I absolutely love. I've got a little beanie from Smart Wool for a top. I have a 250 weight Smart Wool Merino top and a mid weight uh, bottom from LL Bean. For another layer that I might keep around, depending on how cold it gets, I've got another LL Bean hoodie that adds a little bit of warmth. I might bring my Patagonia Capoline lightweight shirt. It weighs next to nothing, and I could hike in it if I want to, or I can also just save it as a town shirt. And I might bring my L.L. Bean lightweight uh, leggings to wear in the desert if wearing sunscreen just to becomes too much of a pain. Those will give me a little bit of sun protection. I've got another pair of Injinji toe socks, another pair of Darn Tough socks, and another pair of Ex Officios. And now I'll open up my rain gear, which is the Dutch Wear rain pants and the anti-gravity anti -gravity gear rain jacket. So the Dutch Wear rain pants are real simple. They've got Velcro at the bottom to cinch them up. And it's just a drawstring waist. I wore these all year this year and had no problems with them even when it was an all day rain. So stupid light and they're very easy to get on and off leaving the shoes on. And this year I'm going with the Gravity Gear rain jacket. Um, I like the fact that it's got the pit zips and it's really super light. Has the drawstring at the bottom to cinch it down. Uh, the hood seemed to work fine over a ball cap. And I'm sure Ollie will be happy with that. And I might send out for Washington my Arcteryx Beta Hybrid. Because a little more rain in Washington. So I forgot to bring up that I'm going to be carrying my spare clothes in a Z-Pax pillow dry bag. Now, I probably won't cinch it up as a dry bag except when I'm in the Sierras and I'm paranoid about everything getting wet. But I like the pillow aspect of this where you turn it inside out and it has the fleece. Now, when I'm in a hammock, I always use a blow up pillow. But when I sleep in shelters or in a tent, I found myself hardly ever using the blow up pillow and I would just sleep on my puffy shoved in a stuff sack. So I figured this is going to give me not only the water protection that I'll be looking for in the Sierras, but hopefully a nice and comfy pillow. Okay, now all the miscellaneous items. For camp shoes, I've got my trusty Eliters that I wore on the AT and have been wearing for a few years. For the desert, I have the Sun Umbrella. I can't remember, I think it's the Six Moons Design Umbrella. Got a little sip pad, cheap from Amazon. Deuce of spades. See the summit bug net. And my toiletries, toothbrush and toothpaste, some sunscreen, extra bottle cap. These are those little towels that just add a little water and it becomes a towel. And some KT tape for electronics charger, some spare batteries. Now I think what I'm going to do is bring my 10,000 mAh anchor and my 6,400 mAh anchor. The weight of these together is still less than a 20,000 mAh and I already own them both. So I can then charge both of them up. So when you're just passing through a town and not staying overnight, I can charge both of them at the same time so things will be a little quicker. 
charging cables, black diamond spot headlight, and I have the Garmin Mini. Now I haven't activated this yet, so I'm gonna have to get that activated and check it out and see how that works. I just wanna have it for texting just in case and the SOS button feature. For water, I have the Sawyer Squeeze and I have the CNOC two liter and then I'll just be carrying smart water bottles, a Sawyer bag cut down to use as a scoop if needed. Now I used the Be Free on the Appalachian Trail, but I like the idea of having the filter attached right to the bottle, especially in the desert sections. So I figured the Sawyer squeeze was the way to go for this year. Now for food, obviously in the Sierras, I've got my bear canister and I've already got 50 million stickers all over it. So I will be able to tell that it is mine because everybody else will probably be carrying the same one. For non Sierras, I'll just have my Z-Pax food bag I've got my spoon with the smooth bowl there that I love. And I can't use an alcohol stove, so this time I've got the, the BRS 3000 stove. Some people say that they have problems with it, but I figured I'll just give it a go and use it until it breaks and then just get something else. And I have used it before in the past and never had any problems with it. I like having my coffee in the morning, so I've got the little Sea to Summit collapsible mug to have coffee. And for my pot, I just have a Snow Peak. This comes with a second little pot beneath it, but I'm not going to bother bringing that. Now for the Sierras, I've got the Camp Corsa Ice Axe. And I have the Catuli Micro Spikes. Those will be sent out to me to be able to use in the Sierras. And I started hiking with a fanny pack up front. And so I purchased the Light AF fanny pack. So I will have snacks and my headlamp and also the little document pouch, which will keep my wallet and anything else I need to stay waterproof and safe and on me at all times. Figure the nice thing with the fanny pack is in town, just wear it around and have everything I need. And this way, last year on the AT, I wore the Z-Pax pouch up front, but figured to give it a, something different and try the fanny pack this time. So that is pretty much it for what I will be bringing out on the Pacific Crest Trail starting in mid-April. Hope you've enjoyed. Any questions, just let me know in the comments down below.